The crop? The crop top. Take down a little bit from, from the top. Right. Okay. Uh, goatee. Um, just trim down a little, like maybe like a half an inch or, or whatever. Okay. And then fade the beard and shape it. All right, cool. Let's do it, man. Then you can um, enhance it. Okay, cool. Thank you, bro. YouTube, what is going on guys? Thank you guys for checking out another one of my videos. So today we're doing a crop. Um, we're not going to take too much off of the top. Just try to square it off. It's been a while since these guys haircut. You guys can see the transformation is going to be going to be crazy. Um, but we're taking about a half inch of hair off of the top and just squaring it off. Um, whatever's on the round of the head, you almost can keep. Um, it was a little more rounded. Um, and I cut his hair last, so um, his hair seems to grow much faster at the very top um not around the crown but more so closer to the fringe um and so that's what i'm gonna focus on tripping trimming you don't always have to cut everything in order to accomplish um the final look that you're looking to do so we're taking half sections using the previous cut as our guide and Pretty much the top is done. You can cut some texture in once you're done cutting the shape. Um, oh, right here what I'm doing is I'm just making sure I soften up the fringe area. So we're pulling the hair out 90 degrees to kind of give a more layered, softer um, lay at the crown. Then what we're going to do is take asymmetrical sections and create his hairline with the crop. Now it's not right as hairline, but we're creating something that's symmetrical and it's going to suit and fit my client so we're going to take small sections one at a time comb them down until there's no hair reaching anymore and we'll do the same thing on this side with length like this this to me is the easiest way to line up a crop all right so you guys see we take another asymmetrical section comb the hair down whatever is laying over you could see the previous cut underneath that's all you're knocking out now we're cutting some texture into the top i'm telling you the shear whisper got my shears gliding all right so now we're going to start removing bulk i decided to use the number four and i want to see a uh, ever so slight ridge here since we're doing our crop and that's just telling me that we are keeping everything nice and squared not removing too much hair at the above the parietal ridge Damn it, all right underneath that four we're doing a three open and then a three closed shout out to my cousin tito for the beat link in the description if you want beats All right, this is the three closed. And you guys can see that slight little bit of bulk at the parietal ridge, which I think looks really good. And it runs right into his hairline. All right, so once we finish that number three on the sides, we're gonna go ahead and start to knock out that initial guideline. I'm using the Babyliss FX3 trimmers. They are not even out yet, but these things got some power behind them. Um, and so they're easy, decent for the, uh, for, the, for the balding out. So we're gonna do something unique with his beard. Notice the guideline that we created, okay? And we're gonna do this on both sides because if we don't do it on both sides, it's gonna be hard to match later on. So I'm gonna do it on both sides first, make sure they look similar um, before we start fading the beard out. So check it out. And then I did look at the other side just to make sure it looks similar. Not to be perfect, but it needs to look similar. And I, I was excited to cut his hair for YouTube because I've been cutting his, his hair for um, probably close to two years now. And um, I did a YouTube video on him before I raised my prices. And he's 
he's he's he's always come and got a haircut and he's paid um for the cuts but one day he was you know i was kind of saying how it's hard for me to find youtube cuts like i got more paying customers than youtube cuts and he's just like bro um if you want to use me again for 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 youtube cut you know you're, i'm more than happy to to i'm like bro please the next appointment don't do the 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 haircut appointment do the youtube cut um and the last time i cut his hair he wasn't getting a crop a crop um but now he does so this works out perfect so now we're using our blade open and I'm using the cor cordless wall seniors with the 245 power clip and the 245 battery installed. Um, and we're using the blade open and now we're going to go ahead and start to fade this section out. And I'm not going to move on until I'm happy with how gradient and how and and I'm happy that there's no demarcations in this section. So we went closed, went up about a quarter of the way, opened it up, went up another quarter, opened it up, went up another quarter until it's faded out and my blade is all the way open. And the reason why you want to get to your blade open is because we created this guideline with the blade open. And we're just going to do this all the way around and we're not going to move on until we're happy. The nicer it looks, the nicer this section looks before you move on, the better your overall finished look is going to be. And the less detail work you're going to have to do at the end. Even though I like to do a lot of detail work regardless. And you guys can see overall it's coming together um it's ever so slightly a little bit darker right at the next guideline which is the look that we're going for so i went back with my trimmers just to make sure there's no subtle demarcations from our initial guideline which is perfectly fine doesn't take that much more time and now we're going to go to our next section which we create with our number one guard open once we've done this um this this section and we have two guidelines that are parallel with one another we can go ahead move on and start to blend this section out so this is what i'm doing i'm going with my number one guard open remember now we're at the number one guard closed and we're blending down so we're finishing so right beneath where we left off with that one open you could see my number one guard closed is um cutting and then we'll follow up right beneath that one guard closed with the half guard which should really bring everything together and blend out this section you might have to take that half guard off the half guard that we're using right now um and use the blade open again it's not necessarily the case with everybody but you can take the half guard off open the blade back up if you really need to do some fine tuning and make sure that you're blending these sections nicely Oh yeah, this beat the one. But yeah, the half guard is doing a great job. Typically in the back, it doesn't do so good. Um, but on this canvas, it's doing pretty decent. We do still need to detail it a little bit more with the, just the blade open, no guard, um, but it's doing a decent job. And guys, just a reminder, I will be in Arkansas this weekend, the 18th for a business strategy class. So if you are trying to get your barbering business to the next level, you're trying to build your clientele, you're trying to make more money, um, this is the class you wanna be at. We're gonna be in North Little Rock, Arkansas at Northern Tech Barber School. Um, and there's also gonna be a barber battle 
um but yeah if uh that's something you're interested in 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 being at i will leave a link in the description below you can buy your tickets they're only 20 dollars. i will see you guys there i've never been to little rock arkansas all right so now our next step is going to be the two guard open which is perfect because remember we left off on the sides with a number three close so we're going with this two guard open as our next step and then we'll go two guard close and then we'll start to use this one and a half guard this red one and a half guard to blend down and finish the fade so i'm going to start with my one and a half guard open close it little by little and then i'll use the one guard open to really clean everything up just like i said you can take the guard off just use the blade open to clean up the last section you can do the same thing here the one and a half guard use the one guard open or the previous guard that you use to clean that section up so look we're using the one and a half guard one and a half guard closed and right beneath that we can use the one guard open just to really bring it all together because there's going to be a subtle darkness there um, that we can clean up And I think at this point, we started talking about cigars. We started talking about TV shows, movies. We started talking about some of the current events with the police brutality, stuff like that, man. And uh, you're going to see me, <laughs> you know, barbershop stuff. You're going to see me going back and forth to a lot of different uh, guards and stuff, which is perfectly fine because at this point, I'm kind of just detailing. So keep that in mind. All right. So now let's go ahead and blend the beard in. So we're gonna treat this almost like we're cutting hair. So I'm gonna debulk with this three guard, then three guard open. And then we're gonna use, um, now that we've done that, we know it's time to do our blade open section, blend the blade open section. And um, if you wanna guess the next steps, go ahead, because it's just like doing a fade. So blade open, blend this section out, one open, blend that section out with the half guard and then no guard blade open right and then two open blend that section out with the one and a half guard so if you if you want to follow along it's literally like doing a fade and his beard is thick enough where it's going to be a nice gradient blend now this ain't for everybody but i think it's a dope look especially on the right person All right, we're gonna go ahead and start lining him up. Get that C cup nice and sharp. Clean up behind the bit, underneath the beard line. Now, during the haircut, he did request color enhancements. So although we don't need it, he doesn't need it. It doesn't matter, we're gonna, do, we're gonna enhance the cut. We're gonna bring it to the next level. Um, and it, we're not gonna overdo it. It's gonna complement what he already has. Just because it's a crop and a crop is not supposed to be super sharp, but especially in the vert vertical bars in the C cup, I like to see it. All right, so now we're gonna use the razor. I did apply 245 shave gel because his, his beard is is very thick um, and I just want to make it a comfortable experience we're using the triple cartridge razor custom color you can get the shave gel and the razor at tomb45.com
all right at this point i'm debulking a little bit again softening up the the fringe there and now we're going to enhance it with the tomb 45 get beamed compressor we're using 245 powder to give it that texture make it pop a little bit more and guys this is the before my man my man was lost it's been a minute this is the after whole new person he's going to his sister-in-law's wedding put him in the game let me know what you guys think about the cut in the comments below guys we drop daily content on this channel every single day we're dropping something between haircut tutorials vlogs reactions um, unboxings and tool reviews if you enjoyed this please do subscribe